Welcome back. Um, we're going to be now talking about making hobbles um, for your camel. It's actually quite a simple process. I'll just go through uh, some of the stuff that we need. So if you have 50 mil plastic coated PVC um, webbing, seat belt webbing, um, good pair of scissors again, your hobble chains, copper rivets, pair of pliers, hammer, I've got two here, doesn't matter. 50mm buckle, full buckle. Right. A little device here that uh, you use for making the slots for the buckle. Hole punch. Another device called a bocker. Right. Another hole punch. This one happens to be an Osborne hole punch. That's the brand name. Very good. And a ruler. Eh, not necessary, but for accuracy, why not? So that's all the gear. Okay, so measuring the size of your hobble. You want a hobble that's got a bit of tongue on it at the end of the day. And we'll explain why when we actually do the video of how to put the hobble on. Alright, so I'm just going to measure this so that I've actually got it right. 30, 34, 34, multiplied by 2, uh, 68. So around about the 68 mark is where you cut a piece of your plastic coated PVC webbing off. Alright, you neaten things up later. That's quite fine, and we don't need that anymore. Alright, fold it in half. So, and to be able to get your slot for the buckle, uh -huh. halfway, you can actually measure it if you want, so why not? Let's do it. So that's 50 mil exactly. Is that the 25 mil mark? Let me just get that where that is. All right, I see it. I've got a mental image where it is. So I'm just going to make an indentation so I know where I'm going to be cutting. Okay, can you sort of see that indentation there? All right. So, okay, we're going to make our hole of our slot through the PVC. It's not exa exactly easy to do so. So I use an old piece of uh, hardwood and I'll place it on the table where I know that the center of the table leg is going directly down to the concrete to the hardest possible point. All right, I'll put my strap over on the hardwood. Put my slot maker directly over where I wanted that slot and this you need a little bit of force let it go through it's close do it again Okay, and there we go. There's your slot. Okay? Okay. 
I'm going to get the the buckle. And thread the buckle through with the PVC. There we go. Like so. Alright, so here's your roller on your buckle strap. So obviously this one's going to be going this way. Because you want to be able to use that roller. Alright, but what happens when you fold this over? is it becomes uneven at the end and this is where the attention to detail is going to count okay just that part there but first before i do anything i need to secure this buckle in here hey just quickly how would you like access to the full tutorial on this camel topic Become a member of our Camel Ear Academy now and you not only get access to this camel information, but a whole library of camel information. The Camel Ear Academy is an online portal for camel owners and camel lovers just like you, which consists of a library of camel information, including entertaining camel vet talks and procedures, camel handling techniques and camel psychology talks, access to the latest and greatest info on camel husbandry and well-being, even workshops on how to make your own camel equipment, and of course, a forum to ask your camel questions to camel professionals. This is just a glimpse on what you'll get access to in the Camel Ear Academy. It's the camel flicks for the camel lover. Sound too good to be true? Well, it's not. Come join us, our resident camel vet, and a community of camel connectors worldwide over at cameleeracademy.com. That's C A M E L E E R academy.com. Recently had a, uh, a letter from um, uh, a Mike Hunt. Um, at <laughs> No, I can't do that. Can't do that. Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's what we said to all.